Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today we have to discuss uh, critical discourse analysis, the model of normal, uh, Norman Fair Club. So Norman Fair Club uh, was, is the one of the founders of critical discourse analysis, CDA. Uh, he was professor of linguistics uh, at the Department of Linguistic and English Language at Lancaster University, England. Uh, he is the one of the founder of critical discourse analysis as applied social linguistic. Uh, it is the field of applied social linguistic. Why? Because uh, critical discourse analysis is analysis according to uh, social discursive, social practice, and social values and norms. So all these are the categories of social linguistics. So CDA is concerned with how power is exercised through language. So it is the view of Norman Fair Club. He says that how power is exercised through language, that it is language that we produce some ideological uh, values and we have to uh, approve our power on the people of that particular uh, society. So he says that it is the uh, it is language that through which we uh, get the power and we exercise that power on the people on particular society and in CDA uh, this includes text talk video uh, and practices along with pictures images uh, and so on so many things so we have to discuss all these things in CDA uh, and critical discourse analysis Norman uh, Fair Club assumes that any case of language is a communicative event uh, in that communicative event uh, he mentioned uh, three kinds of dimension and that dimension we have to follow three things later we will discuss that uh, three dimensions as we discussed that uh, the view of uh, normal fair club he says that how um, how language works to get the power and how that power is exercised in a society so this all the things around the uh, surrounds and around the uh, language that it is language uh, which gives power to someone to a society a group of people and that um, is totally based on the social practice and discursive practice so he says that how language contributes to the domination of some people by other because consciousness is the first step of emancipation so he says that it is the language that people uh, get domination on the other people and the, uh, one uh, there is a group of people or there is a person who is a leader and the, the rest of the people are um, followers because the one person they ha person have the the use of language and he understand how to get the power through language so he uh, Norman Fair uh, Club links CDA with discourse uh, power and social structure that in discourse there is a language and there, there are words so that kind of language that kind of sentence we produce according to social structure and so we get power in that particular society so uh, discourse practices is the representation of social institutions and that social institution uh, are dependent on discourse practices and discourse practices is based on language and language is always shaped by material and social condition in which it is produced so la the, the role of language is so much important to uh, produce and social practices and discursive practices and that make a social institution and that is there is an ideology which ex which um, existed in uh, the uh, social institution fair club's model uh, from fair, uh, fair club perspectives discourse is three dimensional concept which involves the first one is text the second one is discursive practice and the third one is social uh, practice so the first one is text text the object of linguistics analysis uh, second discursive practice the production distribution and consumption of text that how we consume all these things uh, how we distribute how we produce uh, text in 
uh, discursive practice in a society and the third thing the third thing is social practices the power relations ideology hegemonic struggles their discourse reproduce challenge or restructure so this is the fair club model so the first thing the first dimension is text text can be speech picture writing images so the three important thing is uh, in text first one is speech second one is writing and third one is, is images so a mixture of these three forms of communication we can we call it analysis at word level so firstly we produce word the combination of word we produce sentences and so on there are uh, discuss uh, a discourse and we do analysis of that discourse so the second is so the second is discursive practice discursive practice is based on the production distribution and consumption discursive practice involves production of text or constitutional uh, text here analysis of text that how text is produced so we do analysis and discursive, uh, discursive practice that how person uh, produces a text and how and what is the purpose of that text so this is known as discursive practice and now we have the third one that is known as social practice social practice mean social and historical context social practice it is about standard of society organization in effect social structure uh, here we do analysis of norms level uh, norms level so in norms level we have to do analysis of norm that how why we produce uh, this text what is the purpose so there is in the first we produce a text and the second we do interpretation and the third one in social practice uh, in uh, that is the third dimension we do analysis of that interpretation that why it has been produced so in the second picture that uh, text is description in the form of word in the form of uh, spoken written uh, images and uh, writing and then we do interpretation of that text that is known as discourse practice so text is produced and consumption uh, and we do consumption in the discourse practices and there is a uh, interpretation in the third one is social practices social practices mean that there is social culture practices in uh, in every society we have some uh, kind of practices based on ideology and that need explanation so the first one is description then we have interpretation and the third one is explanation and the whole scenario is known as social analysis social analysis of discourse so in uh, first dimension we have a text our text is made of uh, spoken or written it is made of language so language create changes what kind of changes so can be used to change behavior language becomes tool of power so we if we have to exercise that power so it is language so we can say like language is tool of power we choose text uh, in the form of words in the form of images so we speak or write we express our attitude through selection of words like there is an example like if i say that my friend is a shopkeeper second one is my friend is a businessman and my friend is shoe seller so these are three kind of sentences so which gives a clear um, interpretation of what kind of attitude we have so this is the language that we uh, show our attitude during this course so we when we choose our words we express our attitude so discourse is about language as community so how language is community so language makes a community and that community we, we produce a specific form of language so we know that what kind of language we have produced and what kind of language we have to avoid so words uh, we choose make 
uh, us feel that we are part of community so that is the language that we feel that we are uh, part of particular society why why because we speak particular language which is the representation of particular society and discourse analysis uh, is text analysis and text analysis is interpretation and that interpretation is based on the explanation of a society so dimension um, the way we use a word or compose sentence are important so we uh, if we produce a word we produce uh, a sentence so that are important the way we talk about a subject we can change our views about that subject how we can change a view so changing a word changing vocabulary changing a language so can change our attitude uh, attitude so as we change subject so language is not neutral it often contain values and attitudes uh, a language creates opinion uh, and characterizes our attitudes uh, as i told you that uh, language uh, through language we express our attitude so he uh, it creates social relationships and practices it is the language we create our social relationship and practices so language is associated with power uh, with communication is a social event and language on the choice words come from the context in a social community uh, so uh, language and communication always closely linked to uh, society in which we are located in this uh, connection society can be an organization where there are certain uh, norms and tradition and we follow that norms and tradition that why we feel that we are um, part of particular society particular community because of language specific uh, because of using specific language so social practices in this social practices the role of women is known uh, very important but they are not relied so now this is third dimension according to fair club model so the first one is text and text what the person write what the person speaks in the second we have discursive practice in discursive practice we do interpretation that what does it mean what does it mean of the word the particular language and the third one social practice we, ex we do explanation of that interpretation that why and how it has been produced in particular um, situation and context so these three have models uh, these three dimension has been produced by fair club model and this is known as uh, fair club and cda critical discourse analysis